What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy NextGen720, and I'm back with the, another uh, video. You see, uh, shout out to everybody that's been rocking out with your boy. If you're new to my channel, uh, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, hit the little bell so you, know, I can, so you can be notified when I release my latest content. Um, I, not that so I don't because I do, you know. I usually try to say, talk some, you know, about what I'm about to talk about for my Expand Your Mind podcast, um, where, you know, Expand Your Mind talks about religion, UFOs, racism, I mean, sexism, we talk about it all, right? On that show here. Normally, when you get next gen, you get me, the satire, the jokes, me bucking out, you know what I mean? But it's, I felt, you know, that I should address this where we said topic or what I'm about to talk about now in this video about Battlefield 5 and what's going on, uh, the latest controversy, right? Um, it's 2018, 2018, 2018, not 1978, 1956, 1948, it is now 2018, and in 2018, yes, we're still dealing with racism, sexism, you know what I mean, uh, you know, people think that a woman can't do a job as good as a man. A uh, woman's uh, only place is in the kitchen, pregnant and barefoot. And it's crazy. And again, uh, and the reason why I'm even really talking about this as much, because normally I, I, I have it on the fly, let it fly, but I have four daughters. I mean, and it's crazy. Like I said, again, I'm raising little girls, little black girls, that little colored girls. But hear me out in a minute. Uh, I'm going to pull everything together with. You know what I mean? That things are not on an even or level playing field. For those of you that say that there is no such thing as racism or, you know, sexism, you're, you're highly mistaken. You're wrong. I'm not saying that cops don't mess with white people, Hispanic people, but no. And a lot of you guys won't really understand what I'm saying or where I'm coming from unless you're a minority. Hear me out. But... Battlefield 4 came out, I believe, in 2016, if I'm not mistaken, right? Holiday 2016. If it didn't, I stand correct, but it came out in 2016. This figure right here, uh, Dice EA Battle with Marketing, which is Collector's Edition, um, had a person of color. And I remember, again, it was crazy. And I didn't do, I don't believe I did. I actually, I didn't do a video on it. But the big backlash and the public uh, outcry, uh, because uh, there were a large amount of gamers that didn't want to play the game as a person of color. Actually, we did cover it. We talked about it on BGST in a couple of shows. They didn't want to play as a person of color. They wouldn't want to play. And again, I'm going to say this right here. For those of you that know to me, or if you're new to my channel, I'm big on collector's item editions. I like toys, gadgets, and stuff. I have a lot of them. I don't even have them all unboxed because I don't have anywhere to put them. It's starting to get a little cluttered in here. But neither here nor there. So when this initially came out, I believe it was like $180 or something for the figurine without the game. I didn't get it for whatever. Probably didn't have any money. Didn't get it, right? And of all people, you guys, says real crap. You know, an idea. I said, yo, they got the um, the Battlefield. Here, this one. The Battlefield uh, Collector's Edition one on sale on Amazon for $34. I said, whoa. But I already had the game. I was like, cool. What did you say? No, just the figurine. Cool. When you look at it, like I said, if you can you can switch the arms and come with a spike back. I, I have uh, four of them. I got two up there you can see. But I don't have four anymore. I gave one away, uh, and I have one that's still there unboxed, right? So I bought one. Um, boom. It may, you know, me searching around on Amazon, but what's crazy, let me say this. When I went to the comments uh, and the complaints that it was getting because the person was a, a, a black person, they didn't think it was fair. You know what I mean? Where they were, they were white heroes and wrong. During World War Two, that one thing they, they first they tried to say, uh, because it was all, oh, but listen, it's real stuff. Uh, that it's Obama's fault. They got to put black people in front of everything. I'm reading some of these conflicts. This is crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, EA and Dice. Well, I'm going to say EA Dice paid attention to the level of detail in his authenticity. This was a real soldier during World War Two. You know what I mean? Politically, it was kick ass. But hear me out. So, and it didn't sell. Kudos. Shout out to all those. Those racist dudes out there, they didn't want to buy it. 
Um, not because the game was bad, because they had a person of color up there. And so it dropped down to like 30 some odd dollars. And even then, I'm still reading the comments, I'm reading the comments. So you don't know this thing went down to as low as like seven dollars. That's when I bought some more. I, I even passed. I don't believe, like, yo, it's seven dollars. All this because the people are so ignorant. 2018. You know, I, I bought I bought some more in 2017, I believe. No, actually, I got to make it. Yeah, it was 20. It was like seven dollars, right? I bought another one, right? Let me out. Battlefield. They didn't want to play as a person of color. Let me out, right? I'll put this right. Here. Actually, you can see one right there. Yeah. Real detailed lights with this put together. I like it. Heavy. I don't have the batteries and it lights up and everything, right? Fast forward to yesterday. Again, Battlefield controversy. For people now, uh, the gamers are upset because, I'm sorry, upset because uh, they're saying that EA and DICE are, uh, they're trying to uh, put the, SD, the SDWs are taking over the world and they put hashtag not my battlefield. Because they have a woman on the, uh, also, you know, a woman protagonist. Let's look at the trailer, right? Which is crazy. Show you how some ignorant some people are. See the arm? Pay attention. I'm gonna show you something. Oh, oh, this is 2018. Oh, now, I understand this is this is the There's no way a woman sold you to do that. Like some of these comments, so they're going to make you do that. These are my fellow They said there were no women in during World War II. There were no soldiers in, in EA and Beth. They're not being accurate. They're not buying. They're putting hashtag, not my battlefield. Right? If I'm not mistaken. I know I'm not mistaken. This this group here. Check them out, right? I got some stats for you. Actually, I'm sorry. I got rid of the goddamn stats. Oh man, uh, but anyway, they had like over 1,200 confirmed kills. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I'm sorry, this platoon right here had over 700 confirmed uh, sniper uh, kills. 12, over 12,000. Something crazy. Stone Cold Killers, right? Stone Cold Killers. But they said that they weren't being, he and Dice and not being true to their roots. Uh, there were no women doing bad on the front lines, which was the farthest thing from the truth. And they had to complain about the paint on the face. Like there was no soldiers with their face painted, just that and the other. There you go right there. The first, the one on one first airborne patrol, patrol I'm sorry, for paratroopers paint each other faces on the eve of the jump into the invasion of Normandy. Like I said, man. Like, like a lot of these people that are making these complaints, I know why they're complaining, but don't understand. Like they really played a uh, 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 dice really played 
uh, attention to the level like of detail in this game. You know, what I mean, I haven't even played the game. There's little things that they're nitpicking about. You know what I mean? About the woman on the cover, the woman with the arm in the way. Look, look at her arm. That's not even real. Like, come on. First of all, it's a video game, but give me a break. But again, watch this. We're going to have some fun with this, right? I got some more. Some more women soldiers, front line, straight killers. You know what I mean? Uh oh. You see that hook? What we got there? You see that hook? <laughs> Yo, this is just bananas, man. It, you know what I mean? It's just bananas. But, but look, let's go to the article, though. Like I said, this is 2018, and we're still dealing with this, right? It said, oh, no, there are women in Battlefield 5, and it's crazy that people are really fucking out about this. It's saying, hashtag, not my Battlefield. Because now there's a woman on the cover. There are women in Battlefield 5, a game set during the, the Second World War. They're in, they're in the game. They're in the trailer. They're even on the posters. And a lot of you are already upset. This is what their forefathers said. Four, four. Is this was? I'm sorry. Is this what their funny glasses for real, man? I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, go ahead and get my eyes, like my, my, my vision, about blurry as all hell. Is this what our forefathers four, four, our forefathers four, four? Check it out, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So to recap, in case your job is blessed and does not require you to monitor the worst of websites like Red Edit, Twitter. Some folks are angry that their favorite violent multiplayer shooter, which has never been based on anything approaching historical accuracy, now has historically inaccurate portrayals of women and a black man fighting with guns. I told you people how they had they flipped out about uh this I say Hello Fellow here was on the on the front of the last game. Check it out though, of Battlefield 4. And them during the Second World War. Um if all the men in this game aren't back home working in fact i'm going to be pissed go all the way you pussies not real social justice not real social this is crazy because fuck story i actually gotta have a female on the front of a world war ii multiplayer because of reasons like this is crazy any chance that the deluxe edition removes all the thoughts from the games <laughs> you know what screams to me world war ii a black guy a woman and two white guys fighting the germans on the same squad crazy it's crazy. All I'm gonna say is I, I ain't gonna read the rest of the rest of those toxic uh, messages, but I'm gonna say this is right, and not to get on my soapbox or to be how you say rebel without a cause, um, and not to slam anyone's religious faith up under the you know, but it's most of these jokers that are the most Bible thumping, how you say quote unquote God fearing. So they say Christians or whatever you, you're practicing. I mean, it says right there in the good book, right? It says, How could you say you love thee the Lord, but don't love your brothers and your sisters that you see every day? You know what I mean? It's crazy that in 2018, like I'm telling you, that we're still dealing with racial issues it's, or the fact or women are, are moving along in society. You think that just because the color of your skin makes you better than a certain race of people is the most idiotic thing in the world like i always say this one thing a lot of times you think of guys that i be joking and i say maybe it's not the context of my character but maybe it's the color of my skin when i say jokingly you know what i mean i think sometimes that goes over a lot of you guys here. Again, i don't really like to talk about race relations here but shit it's crazy. Now, again, like, I don't know who raises their child because that stuff there is taught at home. No one's born a racist. No one's born to hate uh, a, 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 a certain demographic of people. That shit is taught. I live in a very mixed, you know what I mean? Actually, you know, you know neighborhoods in, in Jersey, I have white people, blue, I white people, I got white neighbors, Chinese people, Jewish people. Uh, Black, well, I probably, I'm supposed to like two other black families on this block. Um, uh, I don't know what they got, but Middle Eastern people on this block. And we have one big park at the end of our block, and everyone walks their kids down here. And I'm not saying that there's not racism in New Jersey, because there's racism here. But I watch the kids, and they play. No one's worried about who's what, this color, this one's girl. Like, that stuff is taught at home, man. Sit back and just watch them play. Ain't nobody worrying about what, who's, 
who you would you Democratic, whether you're Republican or you're Christian or you're Muslim, they're out there just having a blast and a ball. You know what I mean? They, Lord, if there is one, God have mercy on us all, man. But if I'm gonna get the hell up body, but I just say it's crazy as hell. And in twenty eighteen again, we're still dealing with these issues. You know what I mean? A video game. If you don't like it, don't buy it. I'm sorry that, you know, the fact that a woman character is on the box or maybe now that's gonna ruin your experience. I gotta get glasses, man. That's where my eyes are shot. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. But anyway, man, this is your boy Next Gen 720. Uh, I'm about to get out of here, me and my boy, my poor, <laughs> my eyesight, man. I got this big ass TV on my desk. I need glasses, man. Shit looking all blurry. Uh, but anyway, I'm out of here, man. Maybe I should go to lens crash. Maybe you should give me some contacts. Hey, you can be. I'm in the building. I'm to the ceiling. Twitter, God is a hell of a film. But anyway, it's your boy, Next Gen 720. I'm out of here. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think, how about you feel? Be honest. Do you think a woman doesn't deserve to be on the front of, uh, the new Battlefield 5, or would you prefer to be a white male protagonist? What about a Latino protagonist? What about a Chinese protagonist? Whatever, let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Your boy, next since number 20. I'm out of here. I'm in the building. I'm to the ceiling. God is a hell of a feeling.